Fort Bend ISD, it's that time of the year again. The district is requesting your feedback on next year's instructional calendar. Here's what you need to know. Beginning November 4th through November 18th, the district is presenting all community members with an opportunity to submit feedback through a survey on three calendar options for the 2025-2026 academic year. As a district of innovation, we have some flexibility in setting our calendar. The three calendar options allocate time for teaching and learning across 187 teacher contract days. The calendar options were developed through the work of focus groups, core teams, and a calendar committee consisting of students, teachers, principals, parents, administrators, and community groups, plus a board of trustees representative. Each calendar focuses on supporting teacher planning and preparation for high quality student learning experiences, while including breaks through the year for families and staff. All three calendar options include at least 75,600 operational minutes, a minimum bank of 840 additional minutes to use in the event of bad weather or other issues of health or safety as required by the Texas Education Agency. They all have teacher professional learning and planning time throughout the school year. All three calendar options have breaks each month, including a fall break. They all contain a week-long Thanksgiving break, a two-week winter break, and a week-long spring break, plus a later start to the school year than last year while keeping the first day at midweek. Each calendar ends the first semester before winter break and each increases the number of full weeks of instruction. Lastly, each of the three calendars ends the school year in May. Let's take a quick look at the differences between the calendars. Calendar A includes 172 days of instruction and a bank of minutes that equals about three days. Four days of campus professional learning in August for teachers prior to the start of school. A week long fall break in October. Observances of national and religious holidays tied to a weekend, and it places spring break in the second week of March. Calendar B includes 173 days of instruction and a bank of minutes that equals about three days. Three days of campus professional learning in August before the start of school. A five-day weekend for staff and a six-day weekend for students as a fall break in October. Plus, at the end of each semester, Calendar B contains two early release days for secondary students, followed by one early release day for both secondary and elementary students. And this calendar places spring break in the third week of March. Calendar C has 171 days of instruction and a bank of minutes that equals about two days. Four days of campus professional learning in August before school starts, a week-long fall break in October, observances of national and religious holidays tied to a weekend, a teacher workday in January prior to the return of students after winter break, and Calendar C places spring break in the third week of March. Again, the survey closes on November 18th at midnight. After that, the calendar committee will review all the feedback then recommend an option to the administration with the goal of the Board of Trustees adopting a calendar in January of 2025. Thank you for viewing this video about the calendar process and the three options. Please take a moment to go to fortbendisd.com slash calendar options to submit your input. Thank you.